if last year was your first year homeschooling or if this year is your first year homeschooling or if you are planning on homeschooling in the near future, you might have some expectations as to what this homeschooling experience is going to be. In today's video, I want to share some unrealistic expectations that you might have for this homeschooling life and help you feel better about some disappointments that you might have that are actually totally normal. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth and I help new homeschoolers figure this whole foreign concept out. If you are a new homeschooler seeking help, then I suggest you hit subscribe because you are exactly who I'm here for. So the first unrealistic expectation that you might have in your homeschool is if you pick the perfect curriculum, then your kids are going to just learn so easily and you're going to be able to teach it to them so smoothly. It's going to be great. The reality is that even if you pick what you deem the perfect curriculum for your kids, like the learning style matches and the hands-on component and, and it matches your teaching philosophy, it might be wonderful, but that doesn't mean that your kids are guaranteed to understand it perfectly and easily the first time. And it's not gonna guarantee that you're going to understand how to present it to your kids in the best way the first time. And so, I want you to know that it's totally normal for homeschooling parents to tweak curriculum to fit their kids' needs, especially if you're using the curriculum um, through multiple kids. Um, then you might see that like what works for one child does not work for the other. And so using that homeschooling curriculum as a guide instead of using it word for word exactly how they present it because that's not going to serve your kids. The second unrealistic expectation is that you might think that you and your kids are just going to get along so well and they're going to be so obedient and willing to do anything in homeschool that you put in front of them. <laughs> The reality is that it's totally normal if your kids don't adjust well to you being their teacher alongside of being their mom. And they know that they can act out with you more because you're their mom and you love them unconditionally. So what I suggest is that you don't try to force them to do what you want to do in the homeschool and how you want to do it. What I suggest is that you work alongside of them to make these things work. So you can say to your kids like, look, math is something we have to do every day, but we don't have to do it the way that I think we should do it. Like what, how do you want to learn these math concepts? Let's work together on this. The third unrealistic expectation that you might have for homeschooling is that you will be able to maintain the level of productivity that you had before you started homeschooling your kids. So if you think that you can teach all the kids all the things and keep the house clean and cook the meals and maybe you're working from home at the same time and make time for your husband and maybe make time for yourself, I'm just here to tell you it can't be done. You cannot juggle all the plates all at the same time all of the time something is going to drop and the sooner that you embrace that you can't do everything the less stressful life is going to be for you outsource some things let some things go and lower your expectations it is totally normal for homeschool moms to not get everything done we just can't the fourth unrealistic expectation that you might have is that having a strict schedule like traditional school will work best for your kids and will help you stay on track. The reality is that that schedule doesn't work for the majority of kids. You might set chunks of time aside for each subject, but that doesn't take into account how quickly kids are going to learn things and ready to move on or how long they might take with other things. It is totally normal for your schedule to just get thrown off every single day for many different reasons. So my suggestion to you is do not stick to a strict schedule. You can have a routine, you can have a basic outline of how you want your day to look, but don't get caught up in having a strict schedule and thinking that that is going to be the answer for your homeschool. 
The fifth and final unrealistic expectation that you might have for your homeschool is that um, beautiful lesson plans creatively put together and, and those huge projects that you spent all night putting together for your kids to make learning fun for them is going to inspire your kids to be creative. The reality is that most of the time our kids might not care about those big projects that you put together for them or those beautifully made lesson plans that you spent so much time pouring over and, and coming out with the perfect ideas for it all. My suggestion is to keep things simple. Don't worry about lesson plans. If they don't really go over so well with your kids, maybe just ditch them and just go along with um, the basic concepts that your curriculum is um, teaching. And take some things out, omit some things if you just can't get to all of them or if you care, your kids don't care about all of them. I really believe that it's easy for new homeschooling moms to put way too much pressure on themselves and expect way too much out of themselves for this. You can't do everything. You don't need to do everything. A strict schedule is not always the answer for an easy flowing lifestyle with your kids. And it is completely normal for homeschool moms to just give themselves grace and wake up and do the best they can every morning. So lower those expectations. Do your best, but don't overestimate what you can get done every day. And absolutely do not feel like a failure when you do put stuff on your list and you can't get to all of it. It'll be there tomorrow. If this was helpful, I would love it if you'd give it a like and let me know what you found most helpful from it. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because not only do I upload these kinds of videos every week, but I also go live on my channel every Friday with Homeschool Chats with Beth where I answer your questions. You can also find my Instagram and my email address in the description box down below. So if you need to contact me or connect with me on social media, then those are there for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.